So today I did a cat hair and makeup um, tutorial. Not really hair, but um, I guess face makeup. So I've got some super, super long false lashes on. Um, kind of a silvery eye. Nice cat face going on. Um, it was really easy. And I think that's good because I like doing tutorials that are easy for girls. Well, because I am a young teenage girl myself and I feel like um, for the majority of my viewers, I want something that's easy to do, quick to do, um, and you can use a lot of resources that you already have. I would assume um, most of you have a foundation, probably you have an eyeliner that you can use or one that you can borrow, and then you can just, um, I guess, go out and buy the uh, lashes, which didn't cost a lot. I think they're about $3. Um, and then these, the accessories, you can either make or you can buy for um, very affordable at Halloween stores. Here I am priming my face with the Makeup Forever Primer. And then I'm going to apply some foundation. Again, Makeup Forever HD foundation. This color is a little bit light for me, but that's okay because I wanted the contrast against the black makeup that I'll be using later. So I'm just going to blend this in as you would with normal foundation, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with an eyeshadow primer. This is just Too Faced Shadow Insurance, putting it all over the lid and underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to apply Milani's Liquify Liner Pencil in Silver all over my lid. This is one of my favorite drugstore products ever. It's absolutely amazing. The pigment is beautiful and it will really help my eyeshadow stand out. Now I'm going to take a silver color from my Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette and put it all over my lid. If you've noticed I've used this palette a lot, it's because it's absolutely amazing. I bought it about two years ago now and I love it. It has all the colors you need. Now I'm taking a darkened silver gray black, sorry, more of a charcoal, um, and just putting it into my crease. So just go ahead and do that, blend it out. You can make it as intense or as light as you would like. Mine is um, almost the black, but more on the charcoal side. Now I'm going to take a shimmery white and just put it underneath my brow bone to really help emphasize my brows. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and get them ready for false lashes. To help your false lashes blend better with your natural lashes, go ahead and apply a quick coat of mascara. You don't need much, but just enough to coat all of your lashes evenly, and then we'll go ahead with the false lashes. So I applied these really dramatic false lashes that I bought for a couple dollars at the Halloween store. They have some glitter on the ends of them and they're absolutely gorgeous and they give this huge cat eye effect. So now I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm just lining around my eye and I'm going to create a really, really dark rim all around my eye and underneath my lower lash line. This is going to help create a cat eye effect. So now I'm going to take a concealer and just put it all over my lips. And this is going to help when we start to draw on the cat-like mouth. I think it would be good to probably start using um, teeth whitening strips probably, um, I guess, about a month or three weeks, I guess, before your Halloween event. I'll be doing a video soon on my favorite teeth whitening system. Um, let me know if you're interested because I think it would look really great, especially for this look, to have bright teeth. Okay, so here I kind of improv And in order to make the perfect little whisker dots, I guess they're called, um, I actually used the tip or the end of my brush and I dipped it in a black gel liner. I felt like this would probably stay and it was just the easiest to use to draw perfect round dots. So just improvise with what you have but I recommend doing it with that. Okay and now I wanted to draw my whiskers on. You could um, buy some that you could just stick on but to draw them on my face I'm actually using the tip of my pencil brush. And I just dipped that in um, gel liner as well, and I feel like that just works the easiest, and it stays on. So that's what I did. You can use a waterproof one or a long-lasting formula. That would probably be nice. So go ahead and just figure out how you want to do your whiskers. Now I'm going to take a black liquid liner and create a rounded triangle nose. 
just like a kitty cat and obviously just fill it in really easy and really quick again using my liquid liner I'm going to create a straight line that comes right at the top of my lip and then I'm going to start filling in only my upper lip with again the black liquid liner and just start filling in your lips like you would um, if you were just using a lip liner pencil All right, so um, I finished the lips, which I just did the black liner all over the lips. And I kind of flick the edges out because when cats um, look like this, their mouths kind of curl up. So I did that, so. Sorry about that. Um, when I'm just like this, it looks like my mouth is kind of curled in like a mischievous manner like a cat, but um, it's really the illusion that the liner creates. And then on my bottom lip, I covered it with foundation and um, just to add a little bit to it, I'm going to put um, NARS Strip Tease lip gloss over it. You don't need to, but it's a little bit drying with only foundation. So I like to put a little lip gloss over it. Plus, this is a really thick lip gloss and it's nicely pigmented, so it's going to keep that bottom lip really, really lightly colored so it creates the effect that. Um, you know, I kind of have like that upper lip that's the dark color and the bottom lip will kind of fade away. But putting the gloss over it will help keep the foundation on all night and um, also just feels a lot nicer on your lips than just plain foundation. Anyways, um, Honey was barking because he saw me and I looked like a kitty cat. So he got, he got upset because he thought there was a cat in the house. Anyways, um, I also wanted to talk about this. This is a little bell collar that I got from a Halloween store for a cat. Um, you could make one though, and all it is would you could just do the black ribbon. Um, you could like hot glue some little bells on if you wanted to, but I think it was like three dollars at a Halloween store. I am going to be using my Hot Tools Barrel Weaver, and I will tell you guys where you can get this up in the bottom bar. But I'm going to wave my hair with this. I love this. It's amazing. Um, and the, look, the whole look is really going to be finished off once you see my hair all waved. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I hope you guys enjoy. First, I'm going to heat protect it my hair real quickly. This is Tresemme's Heat Guard. I was praying for a chance to take And every sleepless night that I have known Has brought me here And so I hope that times will change And I'll feel safe and you won't go away Yeah, times will change And I'll feel safe and you won't go away and There is a story here I feel it I've searched for something real And I believe this You found me on the ground Where I was being When you Okay, so my hair is done. It was quick. Um, I think it's really cute. It's really different. Um, and it's just something to add kind of to the costume. Because on Halloween you want to do something a little bit different. So I like it, and I'm actually probably going to use it in a Rachel Zoe um, hair and makeup look because it's kind of looks like how she does her hair, and it's a pretty good way to do it. So um, I guess the finishing touch would be to add my ears and so there we go. There is my cat tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was simple, but I think it's really, really cute. And now I really want to be a cat. So there's an issue with these Halloween tutorials because every time I do one, I want to change my Halloween costume. Let me know if you like this better than Pocahontas. Um, I don't know. I, I really like it now and it's cute. And I feel like the costume would be cute as well. Um, so that's that. Let me know what you're being. Um, leave requests for your costume in the below bar. And just let me know if you guys liked this. Okay, well, guess I'll see you guys soon.